Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am introducing my 2023 Project 10 Pan. So this will be my main project pan for the year. It's actually January 22nd when I'm filming this, so I've already kind of lost most of January because I'm quite late introducing this this year. So it's really going to be a sort of 11 month project pan, but still my main project pan for 2023. It's going to be a 10 item project pan. I will update monthly. I've got a range of goals in it, so every item's got a different goal. It's not going to be a rolling project pan in the true sense. However, if I finish something within the first five months of the project, then I will roll something else in, it, in that item's place. My reason for that is really that I like to do my 12 pans of Christmas project pan at the end of the year, so I do quite like it if my main project pan has somewhat started to wind down by that point so that I've got, you know, adequate time to do the 12 pans of Christmas items. A bit of justice in the three months before Christmas. If you like project pan content, I did three project pans last year. I did my main project pan, I did a 13 by Halloween, and I did my 12 pans of Christmas. I've got them all linked in one big long playlist which I will link up in the eye. You can go and have a watch through of them if you want to catch up with them. But for now let's get on into the items that I will be panning in 2023. Item number one. If you are not new to my channel you will not be surprised to see this Hourglass palette make a return. So I have had an item from this palette in pretty much all of my project pans for the past few years and this year we are continuing that tradition. So I have used four of the six items in this palette. I've got it down to having the bronzer left and the blush. I talked quite extensively about this palette in my plan to pan for 2023 video. What I have decided to do is aim for the blush but because last year was so about using things up for me, I definitely want to be rotating this year, finding things in my collection that might have gone off, decluttering them, rather than sort of issuing everything else that I own to concentrate just on a couple of items and trying to finish them. So rather than setting like a goal of hitting pan officially, although I totally would like to hit pan, so fingers crossed that happens. I'm going to set a usage goal on this blush for this year and I'm going to aim to use it a hundred times between now and the end of December. What I have done is I have put, I don't know if you can really see, but I've put a big postage label on the back of this and I'm just going to keep tally marks. I think the simplest thing for me is to take this into work and use it in work, so I should always have a pen to hand on my desk and I'll just keep tallies on the back until I hit the 100. I feel like really, although I'm quite late starting this, so I've really only got the 11 months, that's still like basically 10 uses per month or not nine uses per month really. So I feel like it should be fairly easy to hit 100 uses in this blush, but also be able to rotate through my other blushes in my collection, get some good use out of them, and maybe be able to actually whittle some of them out of my collection if I realise that they're no longer kind of fit for purpose. In terms of this blush, it's not brand new. I mean, obviously the palette itself is quite old, but I had, although I've never properly concentrated on panning this blush, it was actually one of my favourite items in this palette. So I have used it just organically over the last few years. So it's not starting from totally untouched or anything. So I'm hoping 100 uses should be enough that we hit pan. I'd really like to see a pan, but if not, 100 uses is the goal for item number one. Item number two, again, if you've watched my plan to pan in 2023, you will know this was coming up, and it is my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter from my mini film star bronze and glow. My aim with this is just to hit pan, I have put a highlight in my project pan for the last two years and I feel like that's something I want to keep doing is to put a new highlight in every year and try and hit pan on it. So this is my one for this year. I don't know how many uses it'll take. I feel like it is quite a big pan in that it's I think 3.5 grams of, yeah, 3.5 grams of product but quite a, a wide pan so I'm feeling like it might be quite a shallow pan so we might actually get the pan quite quickly and Depending on how quickly that happens, I might try and hit a sort of further goal like side pan or something like that, or I might roll it out and roll something else in in its place. We'll see how long it takes and cross that bridge as we come to it, but the first goal on this is really just to hit pan. 
Item number three is my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation and my aim for this is actually to finish it up completely. Now I have had this standing up for ages and it doesn't seem to like actually move down to show visible progress. We might get a little bit of windowing or something as time goes on but I am actually weighing this product and my starting weight today which is January 22nd is 34 grams. Item number four is my Origins Clear Improvement Mask. So I said in my skincare usage goals video that I was aiming to use this up this year. And this is another item that I am weighing. Now I have marked this, but because this kind of clings to the side and whatever, I'm not sure that marking it is going to give us the best picture overall. So just to be on the safe side, I have weighed it as well. And the starting weight of this one is 56 grams. If you watched my perfume inventory video, you will know I am aiming to finish this up this year. This perfume is, in terms of the packaging, this bottom kind of looks like it's going to be glass, but it's completely opaque. You can't see through it. So this is the only bit that you've got a visual on in this perfume. So what I have done, I don't know if you'll really be able to see, is I have marked this here because this is where it currently is if it is sitting upright. Now, obviously, at a point, it's going to go underneath this white bit. And what I don't know is how far underneath this white bit, this vessel for the actual liquid continues. But I'm hoping that once it goes under, it wouldn't be too long that if I turn it upside down, we can start tracking the progress as it comes back down the way. That is my plan for this one. Bit of a strange one to be monitoring. But yeah, this is the Derek Lamb Silent Street perfume from the 10 Crosby range. It's actually my biggest perfume. This is an 175ml, which I think is probably why it's lasted in my collection as long as it has done. It's from 2016, so it's one of my oldest perfumes. And I got it when I went to New York in February 2016, so I remember buying it on that trip and it was right at the start of 2016. So I feel like it's the, the sheer volume of liquid in this is probably why it's not just naturally been finished by now because it's a very, very inoffensive sort of white musk scent. There's nothing, I think it was probably too expensive for what it was. There's nothing complicated about it. It's a really easy to wear kind of smell. So I feel like I should be able to take it into work. You know, it's never going to be an inappropriate kind of scent. So Hopefully we'll get it used up this year. It's a lot of product. I don't know how much is left really because you know I don't know how deep this actually goes within here but we shall see. Basically we want it finished this year so fingers crossed we manage that. Item number six is another item that I want finished this year and it's my Kerastase Nectar Thermique. I have marked this, so you can see I am right down the bottom of this, but you need so little of this that it takes ages to actually use. Only supposed to use this every third time that you wash your hair. I actually cannot see that on the bottle anywhere, but I feel like I definitely was told that. Maybe I was told that by the hairdresser or something. So this should last for three hair washes. So really I'm only using this sort of like four times in three months really. So it will take a long, long time to actually finish this. I have had this for, I don't even want to know how long. I think this must be one of the oldest beauty products in my house. So I really, really just want this knocked out this year. Continuing with hair care, I'm putting my hair oil in. So you can see I have marked it at the side. This is where we're starting from. This is a 50ml, so I kind of spoke about this in my hair care usage goals video, so I don't want to bore you too much repeating myself, but if I can get this one out, I've only got two left, and one of them is a mini. So I'm really keen to try and knock this one out, if I can. Whether that's going to be doable within a year or not, I don't quite know, but we can track it, we can see how long it actually takes. And I feel like just having that like monitored over a year will give me some real insight into hair oil and you know in terms of quantity. Obviously most of my quantities should be one anyway for most of my hair care products but I feel like it's sometimes quite easy to tell yourself like oh I can have a backup if something's like nearly done 
well, it's going to be done within the next like month or so i'll just buy my backup now whereas sometimes like what you think is a month's worth of product is six months worth of product or whatever so i would really quite like to just monitor how long it actually takes me to get through this 50ml bottle of hair oil For product number eight, I don't think this will be a surprise to anybody who's watched my skincare videos. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. So I had the mini of this in last year's project pan. It's a very, very rich item. I don't need a lot of it, but I think because I don't need a lot of it, I don't use it daily. And sometimes it gets to a point where I'm like, oh, it's been like two weeks and I don't recall if I've used this or not. So I feel like putting it in a project pan will encourage me to make sure that I am using it. If I use it too often, I get quite blackheaded and quite congested with it. I feel like if I don't put it in a project pan, it could sit for a really long time going unused. So I feel like putting it in, although I might not finish this within the year using it twice a week, um, I should make more of a dent on it than I will have in it if I don't put it in the project. So this is item number eight. Ideally I would love to finish it but I highly doubt that that's realistic. I've got the, I'll show you the mini. So this is the mini, this has 20 mils in it, this has 100 mils in it and if you can see those markings at the side there, so this 20 mil which is a fifth of this, so started up here and then through my 13 by Halloween four month project pan, that's how much I brought it down by, and then that finished obviously at Halloween on the 31st of October. So from there to there is what I've used through October, November, December and the first part of January. I would like to knock this out first so I'm hoping like January, February this should be finished. But that essentially means it's taken me six months to use 20 mils. So I don't know what's realistic to try and use out of this one but whatever it is I want to get the most use possible from it. So. That is why it's in this project pan and we'll just see where we end up with it. Item number nine is one that I would really like to finish and it is my Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel Illuminating Base. Sort of like a makeup primer but I feel like even on days when I don't want to wear a full makeup this looks really nice on the skin, just this a bit of concealer and a bit of mascara. I've marked it here, so we're about halfway done with it anyway. This is one of the oldest products in my makeup collection. I think I basically did that thing when I was trying to keep this good when I first got it, but we're now at 2023 and I've still got half of it left, so I think it's time to just use it up. Um, and that is what I'm aiming to do in this project, is to finish this completely. And item number 10, which I'm aiming to also finish completely, is my L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Spray. Again, you can see some of these markings here. This was in my 13 My Halloween project pan last year, and I used from here to here in those four months. So this is not a product that I use a lot of every month. I feel like it's a product that could therefore kick around for infinity, basically, if I don't push myself to use it and it's a product that it would have never bothered me how long it was taking me to use until I got a second setting spray in a John Lewis box last year. It's not a category I evidently move through very quickly so it's not a category I want to be having any more than one of at any one point. This one is nearly done and I just want to put this into the project and get through the end of it. I would very much like this to be done within the first five months of the project and to be rolling something else in, in place of this item. But as I said, that was four months of use there. So whether there's probably four to five months of use left in this if I use it at the same rate that I was using it in the project pan last year. I don't know if we'll get it out to roll something else in in its place. Definitely by the end of the year, this should be out. So looking forward to having this for my empties.
Those are all 10 of my 10 items from my 2023 project pan. Thank you very much for watching the intro. If you haven't subscribed already, do make sure that you are subscribed so you see when my updates go up. If you like project panning on the end screen, which should be coming up just now, I think, I will link up the playlist to all my project panning that I did last year if you want to go and indulge yourself in some more project pan content. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!